guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Evolution. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. That, 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 that's the wrong button. Uh, <laughs> I'm having a fantastic day. We have some fossils here to deal with, so sell these guys and extract DNA from all the rest of those. That should be good. Look at our finances. We're making good money. So, pretty soon here, in fact, we may already be able to, uh, we should be able to incubate uh, some of these guys that are a little bit better, or that uh, that will have, you know, special traits, and we can use them to kind of modify, here we go, Savannah Pattern. So let's do that, and then let's incubate him, and we should have good success, because this creation lab has uh, all the upgrades for your, like, percentage, your viability percentage, or, or whatever. Uh, let's actually take a look here. Oh, that's not that one. Uh, management view. So let's just take a look real quick and just see. They need drink over here, food over here. They need all the things over here. So, I'm thinking, let's... Take the contract. I mean, we're I real close to that, so way. we might as well take it. Uh, let's go guests, and we want food and drink over by this thing. Can I squeeze two buildings over here? If I put this one, like, right there, like, right up against this, like so... That should take care of food and drink, and then we also need something fun over here. So, let's see... Maybe like an arcade? Will that fit? Oh, it totally will. Look at that. We'll build an arcade right there. And that way, we should have our food and drink taken care of for this particular little viewing gallery. So that's great. Uh, we have... A ranger team that needs to go refill Diplodocus's food station. And we can release this Myosaurus, which has the savanna biome uh, color pattern or whatever. Oh, look at that. That actually looks kind of cool. I like it. It's a good looking dinosaur. Hey, buddy. Look at him. Oh, Oy, we've unlocked a new island. Isla Pina, over here. Carefully plan your facility around the tight space constraints. Isla Pena. If an island could have attitude, then this little chunk of volcanic rock takes the cake. Okay. So that will be the third island, and we may want to work our way over there uh, fairly soon, but not. we don't need to right this second. We can hold off on that for the time being. Uh, this guy, though... We need to tranquilize him and move him into a pen. Because here he doesn't have food or anything. Looks like he's pretty uh, pretty fine with just about any amount of grassland or forest. So, should be good. We'll get him moved into this pen down here, I think. And it should be all good. And then I think... How's our... Uh, well, actually, we're only at... Hmm... We're not quite there. We're going to have to release some more stuff in order to kind of get where we want to be dinosaur rating wise, but that's fine. And then we'll have this Parasolophilus or however, the, the, the para thingy, this guy. <laughs> we'll have him uh, fairly soon as well. Um, Out of curiosity. Yeah, so our border's like right here along this tree line. There we go. And you can be released as well. Let's take a look at this one. Oh, yeah. Another pretty good-looking dinosaur, I say. Look at him. Hey, buddy. Very cool. And... Okay, our job now is to sell these new dinosaurs to our guests. This is must-see BC, right? That should mean an increase in revenue, which is always the true measure of success. 
Move you down to here. And let's just see you. Also pretty easy to please. So we'll be able to move him into this other pen as well, I think. Yeah. Yeah, we got a lot of wiggle room. As far as, like, social and all this other kind of stuff. So it should be fine. Get these guys moved. He's panicking because he's getting shot at. But that's okay. I'll just let him kind of run around a little bit. Should be fine. And this viewing gallery does look at almost this entire thing, so should be okay. We need a total guest count of at least 3,500. That should be pretty doable. Oh, not that one. Transport you into here as well. There we go. Get those guys moving along. Let's incubate a couple of these super cheap Struthiomimuses so that we can basically have them eaten by the Ceratosauruses or whatever. I think that's a fairly decent decision. And we could make another Diplodocus for this pen as well if we wanted to. Or another option would be to get like maybe a Brachiosaurus or something like that. Um, let's just see. I imagine they'd be fairly similar in their needs. Although the Brachiosaurus is like, eh, I don't know. These are both, these guys are both new as well. Either way, we need to be collecting more fossils and all this other kind of stuff. There we go. Release and release. We'll just get them out into the pen so that they can get eaten. <laughs> Poor guys. It's an unfortunate existence for them, but, uh, yeah, you know, have fun getting munched on. I wonder if we'll actually see him get munched on right off the bat. Transportation complete. I mean, he's kind of in the forest, so... Oh, here we go. Let's just see. We'll see if he gets eaten right away. I just kind of want to keep an eye on I, I Like, we didn't get a good shot of him before when we did this. There's a live bait thingy. I mean, I guess it's kind of one of those things where they'll just sort of get eaten when they get eaten. It'll happen eventually when one of these Ceratosauruses gets uh, hungry, when he gets the munchies. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe they will stay put. Thought it would go a little faster, but... Eh, he's not that hungry yet. I mean, they're both hanging out over here by this herbivore feeder. And the, the, the thing is, like, I know that the moment I look away... Oh, you're, you're a dead goat. And you can see the little guy over here jumping up and down. Oh, it's so cool. It is. It is cool. You're correct. Oh, oh, here we go. Is this going to happen? Yeah. You're toast. Goodbye, Struthio Mimus. You served your purpose. Your only purpose was to feed our carnivores here, and that is exactly what they're doing. Get munched on. The other one's not going to be hungry for a while. Get that one out of there. Anyway, <laughs> that's kind of cool. Uh, so, let's check out our boys over here. Paris, you are... Fine, except for social. You need You need friends. This Parasaur, apparently they are social creatures. So, let's make a couple more of these guys. We'll get them incubating. Because otherwise, he's going to be, he's going to go and break out and 
be all sad and stuff. What about you? You also need... You, this guy also needs friends. Okay. Well, we'll get you friends. We will, we will get to that point. I may even want to tranquilize them sooner. Just so they don't go like crazy. Look at him munching on that Struthiomimus. You can see these guys cheering down here. It's so cool. I know. I know it's cool. Collecting assets. All right, get him out of there. Making good money now. We are making the entertainment division the crown jewel of this entire operation. I know. I know. I try. When his comfort drops, this guy's almost certainly going to have to be tranquilized. And you... You will probably be okay. I mean, I suppose the other option... We do have another creation lab over here. We could add some more of these success rates to this one, right? And we could go incubate uh, the Myasauruses. Incubate. Incubate. There we go. So we can get them out and incubate them over there while these guys are going. And then they should both be okay, I hope. They need to be... We need to get some population in here, though. Otherwise, they're not going to be happy. And obviously, that's not what we want. We want our dinosaurs and peoples to be happy and things. Our dinosaur rating is kind of horrible. Uh, we need shopping. So where could we put a shopping center? Arcade, toy shop, clothes shop. I mean, we can put one somewhere, just not over here. There's just no space for it over here. I suppose we could maybe, like, sneak one in somewhere along this road, maybe? Maybe not. The problem is we need one, like, over here somewhere, and it's like, eh, there's just nowhere to put it. Because there's just no space. I suppose you could maybe try and, like, sneak one in, like, right there. Alright, just build, like, a clothing shop. Okay, these guys are ready for release. And we will release them immediately. Let's not argue over the That's an easy one. No carnivore deaths. We haven't had any carnivore deaths in quite a while. So I'm good with that. We'll let that go. Okay. The best ways to keep guests safe is to be able to accurately predict how the dinosaurs will respond to certain situations. Where's the other one? As soon as the other one pops out, we want to tranquilize him as well. A parasaurolophus. It's distinctive crested head presents a there challenge we go. to scientists an evolutionary dead end that we now realize is highly effective so this we'll get him moved over research should be about and then they'll be friendly and you'll all be happy i hope as soon as these guys are tranked then over here, they're not done, but they're getting there. And as soon as these ones are tranked, transport you into here. To collect the asset. And transport you into here. Asset. There we go. Now, looking at the map. Ooh. Yeah, that Myasaurus needs friends soon. How are the rest of them doing? They seem fine. Like population and all this other kind of stuff. As far as that goes, they all seem okay. These ones are almost done. So let's... Release you. And release you. 
There we go. Assets in the air. And then add a tranquilize for this one. And as soon as the other one pops up, we'll trank him as well. Okay, fun fact. This Myasaura was the first dinosaur in space. It was on Space Lab in 1985. How do I know that? There we go. It's in the travel brochure. Good. They like to butt heads too. <laughs> well, we left that out. All right, so there's the Parasaurs. You are... Not quite happy. But you will be soon, I hope, as soon as the other two are actually set down. That's my hope, at least. Do I need one more? I may actually need one more. Parasaur. Because we got one, two... Yeah, we need one more. Ah, man. All right, that's fine. Incubate. You do it. Okay, then you should be good. And then over here, these guys should be tranked by now. So transport you to this pen. Acknowledging asset collection request. And transport that one to get that one out of there. And then transport you over here as well. And then this guy is about to go crazy, so we need to trank him, I think. Which one is it? This one. Trank him, because he's about to go, he's about to get real bad. And you may end up in the same boat. So I'll tell you what, let's trank that one too. Rather, better safe than sorry. I don't want stuff breaking out. We have another dead dinosaur somewhere. Oh, probably this one that was just getting picked up, maybe? Where's this other dead dinosaur at? Maybe it's just that he's not actually off the map. I guess it's one of the ones being transported. Fair enough. That's fine. Peter needs resupply. Okay, we will deal with that momentarily. Give me you. And you. I wasn't entirely sure there we go. about this one, but you proved me wrong. And we have a feeder that needs to be resupplied as well in here. Okay, easy enough. Okay. We're sending some of these guys friends. You are not done yet. Okay, if we put these guys down and drop them in. Are they going to now be friends? Because this guy's like at zero com- Oh, he's- Hmm. Okay. Needs more social- He needs water, but he'll be able to go get some. That's fine. So I think we're actually gonna need another Myasaura as well? Let's do one more. Release this guy. Because that... Yeah, that is the Myasaur. That's what I thought. Okay. And... Trank!
They just need a little bit more of their own kind in here. That's basically what it all boils down to. And then once we have that and one more Myasaura, we should be good for all these guys. Then they should be happy. That's my hope, at least. Because it's a little, like, a little wonky sometimes. Okay, here we go. Lots of fossils. Sell that. Sell the platinum. Sell that. And then we're just going to go down the line and extract all the DNA. Uh, can I not? Oh, I guess there's only, there's a limit to how many extractions you can have going at once. I guess six is the most. Okay, that's fine. And we're making just great money in this park. But this is all good. So looking at these guys. Okay, you need more. What am I uh, making another Myasaurus over here? Ah, here we go. We need to go transport you into here. And then once he's transported, then we'll do the other, uh, this little guy. He's like hiding back here in the trees. You can barely see him, but he's there. That's the plan. New viable genome. This is always good. Uh, let's, real quick, let's look at our... Okay, do I really need any of this stuff? Not particularly. Climate studies, robust digestion. I mean, do I really need, like, any of these upgrades at all? I don't know that I do. We could maybe even just head to the next island pretty soon. We've got tons of money. We got like two million that we're sitting on. Let's look at our research center. Because we've got all this money. So maybe we should queue up some of these upgrades. Get all that stuff going. Because you might as well research it, right? And that guy's being dropped. So at this point... We can go back to transport teams and grab you and set you down over here. And then they then he should be happy. Yeah, because socially they're all good now. Okay. And you are ready for release as well. So that should be fine. These guys kind of panic a little bit when I'm setting dinosaurs down and picking them up and all this other kind of stuff. But our Myasauruses are almost to the point where they'll be happy. Request acknowledged. We just need to get this Myasaurus into the pen. And then the rest of them are set. Uh, so let's actually try and incubate... A Brachiosaurus, I think. Let's just give that a go. And maybe we can move him over here into the Diplodocus pen. And in fact, I'm going to incubate another Diplodocus as well. There we go. So he should now be much more comfortable. Which means he's not going to freak out and panic. So that's great. And then you... Transport... Oh, he's still being chased. They haven't actually put this guy to sleep yet. It would be great if you would do so. Please make him sleep. There we go. Transport you to over here. And then once this guy gets picked up, then I'll go and get the other one. And just basically do the same thing. I'll just wait till he's dropping the thing. And then we can just kind of like... Ooh, diseases. Diseases are no good. You to over here. Alright. 
So let's figure out this disease thing here real quick. Oh, transmission incoming. Hey, look at that. Mission complete. Two million. Gyrosphere station now available. That's fantastic. Our bottom line is looking solid. And our attendance and financials are both up thanks to your efforts. You make it look easy, which is not always to one's advantage. Just say. You're sick. You get results. And that is getting you noticed, trust me. So, I'm beginning to wonder. Just who are you? What do you want? <laughs> Crazy of me, huh? <laughs> or maybe not. This is a side hustle that we should get behind. That's an easy one. The successful expedition to the Cleveland Lloyd Dinosaur Quarry. Okay. Tell you what. Cleveland Lloyd Dinosaur Quarry. That sounds like it would be somewhere around here. Frenchman, Dinosaur Park, Horseshoe, <laughs> Lance, Lair, Mail, maybe not. Oh, there it is. Yep, send you and, uh... Send the uh, uh, let's go here, I guess. Sure, that's all good. Speaking of which, fossils extract, extract. There we go. Hopefully, these guys are all friends now. Yes, comfort's going up. Good, 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 good. They're all friends. This makes me happy. And then we've got this stuff going. Sweet. It's doing... The park is... Oh, more diseases. Okay. Add task. Go medicate you. I think that's the same one that I already had on site. I don't think we have any, like, damaged buildings or any of that kind of stuff. I'm just going to kind of peek around real quick to make sure. Nope, we're good. And it was just the common cold. Cool. All right, well, guys, I think that is a good place to end off today's episode. Because I'm out of time for this one. I think next time we will start the uh, the final island, basically. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.